Mr. Fabrizi? Wentz, Hi. SSD, Mr. Corelli, I'm in charge of security during your visit. Um, there are a number of matters I'd like to discuss, Ms. Fabrizi. The press first. Uh, uh, Ms. Fabrizi, Liberty Party is only two years old. Why are the Italian voters taking you so seriously? Because we represent a new honesty in Italian politics, a rejection of the old ways. We are against corruption. We want to clean up politics in our country once and for all. That's why we're here to attend the conference on open government. Isn't your stance against corruption just window dressing? A cynical attempt to win votes? My enemies don't think it's just window dressing. I've had death threats, but they won't stop me speaking out. Fighting corruption is the only reason I'm in politics. With me, it is a total passion. What about your other passion? When are you and Alberto going to name the big day? The big day is next week, the general election. You know what I mean. <laughs> when are you two going to get married? The more we deny there is anything between us, the more you bring the opposite. Thank you, thank you very much. That's all for now, thank you. Mr. Corelli! Mr. Corelli! What do you think of this is going to do, Mr. Corelli? Mr. Fabrizi, when will you commence the deconstruction of the Cosa Nostra? Come on, Mr. Fabrizi. She's arrived. Do it now, Stucky. Intrusion at the hotel. Sign of them anyway. Let's have a look. For some foreign politicians, being against corruption is like writing your own death sentence. Sir? This was going to be Anna Fabrizi's room. Yeah, it's a logo for that new Italian political party. Oh, right, yeah, I've seen them on TV. They're over here for a conference. So you design things with lasers, make holograms. That's it. Political parties are the exception. Generally, I do them for rock concerts, product launches, sports events. Yet you suspect industrial espionage. I wanted to check over the whole place. Forgive me, I didn't realize the laser business was so cutthroat. Uh. I know it sounds like complete paranoia, but I'm sure someone's bugging me. Don't apologize, my friend. It's paranoia that keeps us in business. You said bugging? Yeah. Well, if they wanted to steal your designs, why listen to your conversations? What? I think what it means is they're far more likely to break in and take photographs or steal drawings, get into your computer. It's... Well, yeah, I suppose so. Have there been any break-ins, any tamperings with your computer? Not that I've noticed. That doesn't mean there aren't any bugs, or some other kind of surveillance. Well, no, that's true. That's what I'm hiring you to check for. 
Well, uh, Mr. Swift, you can rest assured that if anybody gets so much as a cross line, we'll find them for you. Red Zero, Red Zero, report your status on William Swift. Hey, B. Check out that van. I'm no expert, but I'd say that's had some designer aging. Ed, you got a point. Those plates, they're too old for that model. A little too nonsense, nice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, hang on to this, will you? I'm gonna check this out. Have you got the time, please, mate? Watch has taken off. He looks like a pro to me. I think this William Swift knows something he's not telling us. Sir, she was right. Who was it? A friend who recommended you. Question is, Mr. Swift, why are you under surveillance? Well, somebody wants to put me out of business. <laughs> This isn't just about lasers, is it? Well, that's all I know about. Well, bugs are what we know about, and there aren't any here. So whatever secrets you do have, just feel free to discuss them. Thanks for all you've done. Let me know what your colleague turns up. Of course. And if you need anything else, well, you know where to find us. Ed, are you listening? Yeah, we're with you. The van I followed has come to a halt. I'll check out my location in a minute. Hang on, the driver's got out. Stick with him, Beckett. Find out what's going on. I'm using your new RT-73 to shift the security camera off me. Then I'll try and get into the building. Beckett, left side is vertical, right side is horizontal, and it's delicate, so be careful. Come on. That's it. It works. Remember, there could be other cameras, Beckett. Okay, Roz, I'm going in. I'll talk to you later. Because if not, there are certain sanctions we can impose. Spare me the lecture, Wentz. I know this department's so secret nobody's supposed to know it exists. I also know you could bury me in 20 tons of wet concrete, tell all my friends I died in a car crash, and no one would ever be any the wiser. But you're not going to do that, are you? No. No. I think so. So I'll be on my way. A word of advice, Beckett. Keep away from William Swift. William Swift has employed us to do a job. I'm not giving it up on your say, sir. He's mixing in dangerous company. Take my advice, keep your nose out. Or else you will end up being buried in concrete. William Swift? I didn't believe a single word he said to us, did you? You ought to be in politics, not lasers.
surprised. Oh, you didn't. Let's try the new software. I did. Bugging the client, isn't that against our code of practice? I don't like clients not telling us the truth. Yeah, me either. Good. Try 14.9 megahertz. Alright. Get a better reception. Stuck one behind his desk. <laughs> Darling, how's the journey? Oh, it was Locking fine. My bugs yeah, on the phone the mm -hmm. All they wanted to know was when Alberto and I were getting married. If only they knew the truth. <laughs> Look, something happened this morning. There was a man outside the workshop keeping a watch. One of the experts I got in chased him off. It's possible he was on our side. What? I had to tell security about us. Look, I'll explain when we meet. Sexy voice. Don't worry. Yeah, obviously Italian. Can you get away this morning? Yes, I can. As long as I'm back for my keynote speech or two, I'm fine. So, where should we meet? Do you remember that big courtyard? With the grass? <laughs> Royal College Green. Where I proposed. Yep. And we can sit on the very same bench. I'll see you there in an hour. Bye, Anna. Ciao. Well, whoever she is, she's the reason for his paranoia. Let's go put a face to the name. Hello. Confirm your identity. Confirm your identity. This is Mackenzie. You've been out of contact, Starkey. What happened at the hotel? Tell your boss to have my money ready. She'll be dead very soon. Alberto. I need a favor. I need to go out. Oh, I take Mr. Wentz's bodyguard. I'm not going anywhere. I'm meeting a friend. Ah. And uh, you don't want a chaperone? Exactly. Leave it to me. Alberto. I don't like all this secrecy. Pretending people who are close to me don't exist. Pretending our relationship is something... It's not. Everyone is so in love with the idea of us being a couple. Why spoil their illusion? Our party is meant to stand for honesty, not deception. Other parties would pay millions for the public affection we have. The more they love us, the more chance we have of winning. I know. I know. But after the election, we'll come clean. Yes? After the election, it won't matter one way or the other. <laughs> I, I need to go to the embassy. You'd better come with me. Uh, and don't worry about Miss Fabrizio. She'll be staying in her room, okay? Tell me, Ross, it's the kind of place you'd like to get a proposal. <laughs> that rather depends you from it. It's all very romantic, but I don't know. All these windows, a bit like being in the middle of a stage. Yeah, it's very exposed. Good place to kill someone. Let's check it out.
Plus, I got someone. Right, I'll go over to the west side to look for Swift and his friend Anna. <sighs> I've got a live wire here. Looks like he's got a detonator. He must be using a bomb. So, let me just get this straight. The Italian public want to believe that you and Alberto Corelli are lovers. And you go along with it because it will help enhance your image and when you vote. You make us sound so cynical. Politics is politics. But now you're marrying William, right? So far, we've kept our relationship secret. But after the election, the truth will have to come out. <laughs> yes, well, you see, uh, after the election, that's a little bit late for us. You know, Wentz's team obviously knew all about you. We were kept completely in the dark. I didn't know if I could trust you. I was frightened Anna's enemies had found out about us. That's why I wanted William to have his place swept for bugs. Ed and Ross saved your lives. Yeah. Perhaps you could trust us now, yeah? So who would want to kill you and why? A number of people. Now. The Liberty Party wants to clean up Italian politics. It's a vote winner. But those with their hands in the till don't like it. You didn't bring your own security people with you? Alberto thought we would be safe here. And of course, Commander Wentz's squad was supposed to protect us. Wentz couldn't look after a pet goldfish. <laughs> I don't want looking after. I want to catch the people responsible. Could you help me do that? Perfect for a setup. William Swift works here, Anna can meet him here. For any marksman worth the name, she's going to be a simple target. He used a bomb before. Yeah, but that's the beauty of setting it up here. I mean, it's open enough to attract the assassin, but controllable enough so we can limit his options. His only choice is to use a rifle, and this will be the only place he can do it from. If he takes the bait. We'll take the bait, don't worry. Hey, listen, about this evening. Yeah. I want you to go and pick up Anna, okay? I'm gonna stay here and wait for the assassin. Oh, come on, I'm a lousy chauffeur. You do that, I'll handle the ambush stuff. Ed, you haven't had the training, right? What do you mean, training? Unarmed combat, surveillance, <sighs> night pursuit, small arms. You, you sound like Rambo. Listen, I'm gonna do this, all right? Ed. You've achieved more with this in an afternoon than I have in three years of research. Well, it's all a bit of a lash-up. I've just rejigged some of your software, is all. Might not even work. Only one way to find out. Try it. Teddy's got a twin. I've never been able to make a 3D replica before. It's brilliant. Well, now your laser's producing a good, strong image. Not for long, though. I'll try something else. How can we guarantee the killer will turn up at all? Well, they knew you were meeting Anna at College Green, so there's been a leak of information somewhere. Will you check my place? And Anna's room. There were no bugs. Mm -hmm. but there are other ways of listening to conversations. This is where you and Anna come in. Are you sure you remember your lines? Politics is 90% acting. 
Hello. Anna Fabrizi. Hello, darling. It's William. If that conference of yours can spare you, any chance of us meeting this evening? I thought you'd like to come over and see a demonstration of the laser logo. The Liberty Party torch. Excellent. What time? Eight o'clock. The Riverside Arena. That's fine. Will there be a crowd? Just us. In that huge, empty space. I wanted you to be the first to see it. Marvellous. I'll meet you there. At eight. Ciao. Bye. Echo. What did I have to use a mobile? Well, we think that's the way they knew your movements this morning. Talking on a mobile phone is a bit like discussing your private life with a gossip columnist. Confirm your identity. Confirm your identity. It's Mackenzie. Must you use that stupid tape? Haven't you heard of security? Listen, I'll do it tonight at the arena. And I want a car waiting to take me to the airport. I'll give you the details. We'll send a car. How will my driver recognize you? There'll be no one else around at that time. Tell your driver to flash his headlights twice. I'll find him. Starkey. Just get it right this time. Please. Are you and I are finally gonna have to meet? This man, Starkey, has failed twice. Send your car, but don't take him to the airport. You want him dead? If he kills Anna this time, maybe I relent. And if he fails? Anna must die before the elections. Her death will mean the Liberty Party and I come to power on a wave of public sympathy. And then quietly forget all your anti-corruption policies. Anna's policies, not mine. If Anna ever actually got to power, certain friends of mine would be very inconvenienced. It's fortunate she hasn't discovered just who your friends really are. Oh, she will. That's why I want her dead. <laughs> something I never expected to see. What were you saying? Uh, you're doing something badly. <laughs> so, Ros, what's in the button then? Is it a microphone? No. Tracker? No. Both. Oh, damn. I never was any good at this. Tracker, that's incredible. Thank you. It's super miniaturized with only minimal loss of power and range. It took me weeks to get it right. Uh. I mean, is that the only one? Yep, so far. It's the prototype. I want you to give it a field test for me, but bring it back. Oh. <clears throat> Look, you and Beckett are certain this won't be another bomb. Oh, yeah. We've made sure the only option they have is to use a gun. Well, you better be right. Because if this all blows up in your faces, I'm not saying you're back together. See you at breakfast. Buona notte. Early night for you too. I'm going to stay in and work. But right now I'm taking a shower, so if you wouldn't mind. Go. Wentz to base. Wentz to base. Beckett is with Miss Fabrizi. They've made an unauthorized exit. They're leaving. Follow them.
Well, it's all quiet here, Ed. No sign of anybody. Well, Bickett and Anna are here. I hope we got this right. I don't want to be wasting our time. He's here. He's in the building. He's by a pillar on the south side. He never passed me. Well, I'm telling you, he's here. He's got a rifle. I'm on my way. They shot the laser image exactly as planned. And who was trying to kill me? I want to know. Well, hopefully. Ed's got that in hand. See, they've just shot this guy. So I went and check out a car I saw earlier. I think it's got something to do with the assassin. Ross? Becky! I warned you, Beckett! We knew about this assassination threat to Miss Fabrizi. That's why we're here. All you've done is put her and her friend in grave danger. Oh, we were both quite safe, you know. I wanted to flush out the assassin. Yes. Well, he certainly won't be giving you any more trouble. There's my car outside, Miss Fabrizi, if you'd like to come with us. As for you, Beckett, get out of here before I close you down. Likes creating an impression, doesn't he? Wentz doesn't get out of the office too often. When he does, he likes to make the most of it. Becky, where's Ed? You're Starkey. Who's asking? Don't try to be clever. 
hurt shooting. Well, that'll be the SSD. They, uh, they need the practice. <laughs> so who are you? Stark. Good. Seeing the bride on the morning of the wedding is supposed to be bad luck. I know. Yeah. I wanted to give you a chance to change your mind. Why? Suppose Wentz interferes. Well, Mr. Wentz will not know anything about it. But we could cancel. Wait till after the election. I could fly back to Italy with you. We could get married there. No. We planned it for while I'm here in England. And that's what I want. Nobody is going to stop us. But is it going to be safe? Hardly anybody knows anything about it. Anyway, when said the men had been killed... They haven't got the people who hired him, have they? William. I am not spending the rest of my life in hiding. Your secretary's happy to be a witness? Of course. And Corelli? I haven't asked him yet. I was leaving it until this morning for maximum surprise. You do trust him. <laughs> he and I could be running the country together in a couple of weeks. I can't let him learn about you and I from the papers. Married. Not only is she still alive, but she's getting married this morning. What the hell went wrong last night? We picked up Starkey. Do you want to see him? Yes, I do. Spencer, would you like to bring in our guest? Ah. So you're Starkey? Yeah. Why am I being treated like a prisoner? Because you keep failing to do the job I am paying you for. <laughs> Where did you get that accent? You're not the person I spoke to on the phone. <laughs> you kidding? I always use a voice changer on phone calls. You mean as well as that ridiculous tape you always play? Haven't you heard of security? Oh, sure we have. That's why I want you dead. Guys, come on. I thought we had a deal here. The deal is off. I don't like failures. It wasn't my fault. Fabrizi hired some people to protect her. The, the whole thing was set up. Yeah? Yeah. Security services swarmed the place. They shot some guy, a passerby, I think. Hmm. Trust the SSD to get the wrong man. Or at least they killed someone, which is more than you have achieved. Starkey. Not only is Fabrizi still alive, <laughs> she's actually getting married this morning. Married? Well, where's the church? I could do it there. <laughs> Kill her at the wedding? You think I should trust you again? I can have her dead before the ink dries on the wedding register. One last chance. Let's screw up again. And it will be your last mistake. Your secretary tells me you're not attending this morning's session of the conference. No. What are you doing? May I ask? I shall have a swim in the hotel pool, if that's OK with you. Ros, Beckett, I don't know if you can hear me. Listen, I don't know how long I can talk. I've lost my radio. I'm using this button thing. I hope it works. You're not going to believe it. These guys think I'm a contract killer. It was Ed, that what the hell do you think you're doing? I can't hear you. The button's just a mic. Oh, great. 
Well, next time, so a couple on, all right? Then one can be a receiver. Ed is not trained for infiltration work. It is highly dangerous stuff. Beckett, he's trying to tell us something. I knew I should have covered the assassin. See, not Ed. You got it? Now, Anna's getting married this morning. I'm supposed to kill her. I'm going to play along so I can work out who's behind all this. Starkey! It's Ross Beckett. I don't know if you can hear me, but... Do me a favour and get to the church on time. That's why she didn't answer the phone. Beckett, swimming's an odd thing to do just before your wedding, don't you think? She's not in there. This is what happens when you don't employ enough women. Well done. You've got everything? Bouquet? Is something borrowed? Oh, something blown? Blown? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mr. Starkey, I trust this time you'll complete your assignment. Disunity in the party, or is she just marrying the wrong man? You're not paid to ask questions, just kill her. I'm lucky in love, eh? Love has nothing to do with it, this is politics. So, whereabouts is the wedding? You'll find out. Is it in a church? What's it to you? Idle curiosity. Drive. Corelli's in that car with it. Had to be, didn't it? Who ever heard of two politicians being best mates? What's the range of this button? Okay. This mini tracker mic thing of yours. Oh, um, a couple of miles. Let's hope the wedding's not in Rome then, eh? Ah, eccola. Ma sei contenta adesso? Sì. Sì, sei sicura? Fishon, this really isn't my style. Ordinarily, I like Italian clothes, but... You won't have to wear it, Rob. Sorry about the weight, it's lined with plastic explosive. Great. Sort of an insurance policy, is it? So if for any reason you fail again, we'll terminate your contract. Wherever it is, it's just got there. So, gentlemen, what's this church called? We don't want to go walking into the wrong one, do we? We've taken precautions against that eventuality. Mackenzie will tell you where to go. We will also know what you're doing. We can tell if you're not following instructions. The gun is fitted with a video camera. Mackenzie will see everything. Even tell you if you're aiming too high. So we're thinking it was so you could follow Lazio on satellite. And uh, don't try to take this waistcoat off. This zip completes a circuit. Try to undo it and you'll detonate the explosive. Right, Starkey. On your way. There goes the lucky man. Present for the back. What's this? 
just a little incentive. If you haven't got the job done in 15 minutes... Boom! Okay. Up the stairs to the gallery. Where will you be? Somewhere I can keep my eye on you. Don't take long looking for a firing position. Remember, your time is limited. Get the gun out, Snarky. Here, we're right on top of him. He's here! Becky. Oh, brilliant. Electronics grade one, sewing a needlework failed. So where's the church then? There, and it's not a church. as well if you have to. Kill them both. Yeah, the zip completes the circuit we heard. Starkey? Have you got company? It's just the ceremony. If you don't kill her in the next three minutes, your jacket will explode and you'll be the dead one.
I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, William Swift. To witness that I, William Swift. Do take thee, Anna Fabrizi. To take thee, Anna Fabrizi. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To witness that I, Anna Fabrizi. Take thee, William Swift. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Corelli who's trying to kill you. Roberto, what are you doing? Teaching you a lesson honesty never pays. I can do this, Ross. I can't do this if you keep moving. Let me get away or she dies. Shoot! Kill him! Just give me five seconds. You don't have them. Give me safe passage out of here. Don't turn her into a martyr. It out. I guessed. If I may be permitted to finish, I was about to congratulate you now that you are husband and wife. <laughs> Do you do ironing as well? Yes, please. I'm just trying to correct your dodgy handiwork. And it's looking lovely. Hey! I've got some socks that need darning. Oh, leave him alone. He'll make somebody a wonderful wife one of these days. You left this at William's workshop. Oh, Ed. Yeah? No, not you, him. His name's Ed the Ted. Hey, perhaps next time this Ed goes missing, we could take this Ed on. You'd probably do a better job. Well, it's probably a good idea. You know what they say. What? Two heads are better than one. 